Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I actually want to tell you something I found online. So on my computer, I found the um, I found something quite cool. I found the average UK salary um, for people who are just getting into jobs, people who have been working for a while, people who um, d different levels levels of jobs. So I found the, this average UK salary, and I thought it was really interesting because I'm comparing that with how much is possible to be made on Amazon or internet marketing or Shopify or something like that, or eBay. And um, I've actually got the infographic on my computer, so I'm gonna check that out with you right now. And we're gonna go through it and just compare it. And again, I'm not bashing anyone who has jobs or anything like that. I'm just trying to show you what's possible um, and compare the salaries that you can have with a job and with working online. But just a disclaimer, working um, and in a job is probably a lot more secure. You earn a certain amount every single month. Um, and it's just it's much safer working online you can go from earning a lot one month to earning nothing the next month so it's, it's more of a risk but um, I guess that's the fun part of it so anyway we're gonna check that out right now but before we do don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit that bell notification leave a comment down below and um, give this video a thumbs up I know I'm giving you a lot of tasks to do so I'll tell you what in this video I'm just gonna say uh, what should I ask in this video I'm just gonna say Give this video a thumbs up. Forget everything else, just give this video a thumbs up. Why not? And let's go check it out right now. On my computer here, I've got the this infographic. I'm gonna let's just let's just go to the computer view. So here it says, what salary should you be earning at your age? So I thought this is actually quite helpful because a lot of people don't know what sort of salaries they should be expected to earn. So average salaries in the UK, and this is just the UK, this is not the US. So average salaries in the UK. So this is um, less than 1,287 is the monthly average for the bottom 10% of full-time employees. So that's the lowest salary that you could possibly be thinking of. 2,288 is the monthly, monthly average um, salary for pretty much just, that's the general average. Now I'm not sure if this is before taxes. If it is before taxes, then it's gonna be um, even lower than that. Um, and then monthly average for the top 10%, so now bear this in mind, this is the top 10% of people is 4,485. That's the top 10%, right? Now you've got the average salary is 27,600 for the year. And then um, the starting salary, so let's say you're just coming out of university or you're coming out of high school, you're just looking for your first job, you're looking between 19,000 and 22,000. Again, these aren't low numbers, but when you bear in mind, you're gonna have eventually have, um, I don't know, rent, families, children, whatever it may be. You've gotta consider if this is enough, right? Now, there are obviously certain job roles that are higher, that, that you get paid higher. So we're gonna go over those as well, because obviously you might wanna consider doing something like that. So, well, let's have a look firstly, what influences salary growth? So you've got education, that's obvious. So university degrees, masters, PhDs, all that sort of stuff is gonna affect your salary. Um, what company you go to, is it gonna be a big one, a small one that obviously is gonna affect it? Surprisingly, gender affects your salary even in 2018. So um, a woman's salary peaks in her late 30s and then starts declining while a man's tends to peak in his 40s. Um, experience, the number of years you've actually had experience, so not, not, not just education, but actually experience is important. Um, and then the industry you're in is going to play a huge factor and obviously your location. So if you're in Bulgaria, your salary is going to be much, much lower than if you're in London. That's just obvious. So the highest and lowest wage is by city. That's cool. So the highest monthly wage in London is about £2,925. These are all averages, of course. And the lowest one is Wigan, which is 1,000, oh, zoomed out, Wigan, which is 1,811 pounds a month, average, of course. The 10 highest and lowest paying jobs in the UK. This is what I thought was so cool because pilots and aircraft engineers get paid so much, 7,800 a month average, monthly. It's just, it's crazy, Seven, nearly 8,000 pounds a month, which is a lot of money. And now if we look at the more common jobs, you've got, um, the lowest paying job, you've got waiters, bar staff, hairdressers, dry cleaners, kitchen assistants, cashiers, um, lollipop ladies and men. Oh, that's just a UK thing, I think. People who stand in the road. Um, and then cleaners. Um, now, so if we look at the highest paying jobs, lawyers, um, doctors, 
marketing and sales directors, air traffic controllers, I didn't even know that they would get paid so much, chief executives of course, um, senior police officers. So the average monthly, like high, the average um, wage in the high end is 3,397 and the low end is 1,478. So what can you expect to earn at your age? So that's what I thought was quite cool because the one big thing about Amazon and selling online and uh, doing an internet business is your age doesn't affect how much money you can make, which I thought was really interesting because your age affects everything in terms of getting a job. And it's like that with a lot of things. Um, for example, getting car insurance, getting, um, getting a loan out, your age will affect what the, like, will affect how it, what goes into it, right? Whereas working online, it doesn't matter. You can be 50 and earning the same as a 15 year old. It doesn't matter. So what can you expect to earn at your age? So late teens, 1,270 to 1,361. That's between 18 and 21. They've given everything a weird name. Terrifying 20s um, is 1,800 to just under 2,000. That's 22 to 29 years old. And then 30s is 2,300 to 2,500. And again, remember, this is when average salary peaks for women. And then the 40s, where it peaks for men, is about 2,200 to 2,800. Um, that is sort of the ages. If you've got a, um, a bog standard job, that's sort of the, the, and you're this age, that's sort of how much you're going to be making. Because I, I, battery just died there so uh, let's go back to it um what was i saying yeah i definitely think employees employers look at these type of statistics and look at the averages and all these sort of things when they decide how much to pay someone they're not just spouting these numbers out they're probably doing a lot of research before they just say we'll pay you this much uh, because obviously they want to pay you a good enough amount to keep you but they obviously don't want to pay you too much if they don't need to that that, that makes sense so um experience matters and this is what i was talking about Average annual income of employees with less than one year of experience is 20,000, and then with 20 years of experience is 39,000. That's a huge, huge difference, right? And so the one tip in that, in, that, in that area is I would say, if you are in university, I would recommend getting a job at the same time. So doing a part-time job whilst working in university, I think that is the best thing you can do um, because not only are you getting experience and you're getting paid, you're also getting your degree. So if you are set on getting a degree, then that's amazing and good for you. Um, but I would highly recommend also working at the same time because then when you leave university, you're slightly different to the people who just went to university because you have the experience, which is great for your CV and your LinkedIn account and, any, and everything, and you have your degree. So that's what I would recommend in that. And again, this is all just what I personally think, I'm not an expert in this, I didn't go to university, um, I didn't get a job and get experience, I went straight to working online, so um, you can just tell me to shut up and, and go away, and that's fine, um, but this is personally what I think of this matter. Um, so yeah, if you're gonna be going to university, then 100% try and find some sort of part-time work in the field that you're interested in. Um, I have a friend who did that and I think it was a, an amazing idea, like it's a really, really good idea because it gets you so much experience, it gets you money um, and it probably even helps if it's if it's similar to your university subject, it probably even helps um, like further your results, further your, your grades with that university subject as well because you're learning on the job and you learn a lot on the job. And then it says, so going down, it says choosing a career, five fastest growing UK industries, 2016, hospitality, construction, manufacturing, general private sector and engineering, three ways to increase your salary, negotiate a salary raise, okay, it's obvious, research and compare your salary, so that's like what your employers will be doing, you can also do, you can see how much you should be getting paid for a particular job. And then you can become an expert, so again, that's more studying, probably getting masters, getting PhDs, whatever that may be. So that is that is this really cool little infographic. I stumbled across it and thought I'd make a video about it because I thought it was really interesting. But what I wanted to do in this video was not just go over the infographic, but was also compare that to what is possible on Amazon. And not just Amazon, but internet marketing. And again, this isn't bashing any jobs, this isn't bashing working, it's not bashing working on Amazon. It's just It's just a topic, just a conversational topic. So if we search, um, well, let's say if we want to make the average, right? So 27,600, 27,600 pounds a month. If we want to make that, so we've got 27,600. Sorry, a year, that's a year. 
divide that by 365 that is 75 pounds a day you have to make and now the reason i'm d dividing by 365 is because in a, in a normal job you'll work five days a week probably maybe six days a week whereas if you're working online you're technically making money every single day because it's systematic right so um if you have an amazon business for example you'll be making sales every single day it's not just five days a week so that's the reason i did it divided by 365. so you would need to make 75 pounds 61p a day to um to match this average salary so let's do 75 61 that's how much you have to make a day now if these are all ifs but they're ifs based on research the ifs based on my personal results that means at a 10, a 10 pound profit margin that means you would need seven and a half sales um yeah you would need seven and a half sales a day if you're making a 10 pound profit margin to get to your 75 pounds a day now seven and a half sales a day is absolutely nothing i mean we're talking about having one product here if you have two or three products you're not looking at seven and a half sales a day you're looking at maybe even 70 sales a day so i'm going to go based on our numbers so one of our products gets about 40 to 50 sales a day right so let's times that by 10 that's 400 right remember when you need to make 75 to be an, to make to be the um to be the average so if we're doing 400 and you times that by 365 that's 146,000, right so and again, I've times by 365 because it's every single day. Now, some days there'll be discrepancies, so I'm going to take that down. I'm going to drop 46,000 off that number and just go to um, 100,000. So, right, so 100,000 in a year from one product. Now, the best thing about this, and the reason I love this so much, is because instead of having to negotiate a higher salary or to find a better job, you can just add more products, right? You can go research and add more products and turn that 100,000 into 200 and 300 and 400,000 by adding more products. So that's the main reason why I love working online. That's the main reason why I love having this type of business. But again, there are some jobs which I personally think, uh, well, all jobs, in everyone's mind, you should do what you want to do, right? This isn't about... This, isn't, shouldn't, this shouldn't be about the money, this should be about doing what you want to do. So I knew I never wanted to sit behind a desk, or I sit behind a desk, I knew I never wanted to work for someone else, right? So that's why I ended up doing this. Now, if that's something you want to, if you want to um, do whatever industry you're in, regardless of the money, then that's amazing, and that's so much more important than the money. In fact, I have a poster over there which says, choose a job you love and you'll never have to work a day in your life. So whatever the job is, just make sure you enjoy it, because that's, that's the most important thing. And obviously there are some um, professions that need education, need all this sort of stuff like lawyers and doctors um, and pilots and all these things. You need to go to university and we obviously need those people in those jobs. Um, but yeah, like I said, this wasn't, this isn't, I don't need to justify this video because I wasn't bashing anyone or anything. I just wanted to just make you aware of the possibilities with having an online business. Um, it's obviously not easy, but just make you aware of the possibilities of having an online business and to tell you that there are, there are other ways for you to make money rather than just doing the norm and um, going from high school to university to getting a job. You can do it differently if you want. It's completely up to you. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to say in this video. This was a very different video to what I've normally done. Um, it was more of a conversation of a topic that I've been thinking about for a while and the fact that I stumbled across the average UK wage um, was just a byproduct of making this video and I'm happy I did it because I really wanted to make this video. But anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think about this video, what you think about this I, this type of video, this conversation topic on um, what could be considered quite a uh, controversial subject um, for some. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and um, not just give it a thumbs up, but don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I bring out videos every single day. I try to make them as good as possible. Some of them aren't so good, but I try to make them as good as possible. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching.